What is VLAN? VLAN is a virtual local area network. One, you can have multiple networks or VLANs all on the same networking hardware or networking switch. Two, traffic is still completely separated from VLAN 1 and VLAN 2, but it's done logically inside the switch rather than physically. Three, VLANs provide logical segmentation of networks. The reason for using VLANs is to avoid a physical separation of networks. Instead, we can logically separate our multiple networks. No matter where the client connections are on the network, VLANs give us the ability to allow or deny communication between devices and between networks. Now that you understand what a VLAN is and how it can be used, let's take a look at how we configure one for guest connections inside PepWave Web Administration. Start by going to the Network tab within the PepLink Web Administration. The default IP address will be listed here as untagged LAN. Make note of this as your guest VLAN must be different. Click on the new LAN button and a new window will open. Assuming your untagged LAN is 192.168.50.1, you must at least change the 50 to a number between 1 and 254. In this example, we'll use 192.168.60.1, and like most users, we're going to leave the subnet mask at 255.255.255.0/24. Next, give your network a name to identify it. VLAN ID will be 2 as this is our second network. Inter VLAN routing should be disabled so that users cannot communicate with users or devices on other networks. Now we need to set the DHCP range under the DHCP server section. This is a range of addresses that the router picks from and hands out to each device that wants to connect to the network. Without DHCP enabled, users could only connect if an address is manually assigned to their device. Click Save at the bottom, then Apply Changes at the top right. To assign this VLAN to a specific Ethernet LAN port, for wired connections, click Port Settings on the left. Set Port Type to Access. Set VLAN to the guest network you just created. Once again, click Save and Apply Changes. At this time, if you already have a device connected to the port you have just configured, you may need to refresh its connection. This can be done by simply disconnecting the Ethernet cable, then reconnecting it to the port. If you need to allow guests to connect to Wi-Fi, there's one more step for you to complete. In our example here, we have the Max BR1 Classic, which uses a built-in Wi-Fi access point. Click on the A, P tab. Click SSID to configure the guest Wi-Fi access. Enter a name to broadcast for VLAN. Select the guest network. By default, no password is configured. Change the security policy to WPA slash WPA2 personal and the shared key field will appear. Create a password between 8 and 63 characters long. Remember it is case sensitive. We suggest clicking the hide characters button to confirm what you've entered. Then click save and apply changes. Give the router a moment to apply the changes and your devices to refresh their available Wi-Fi networks. 